this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Pro Show. My name is Frank Mankin and I'm joined, as always, by my beautiful co-host, Joe Murray. Hello, Frank. Hello. Why am I not allowed to look at <laughs> you? You can, you can look now. I can look at you now? You can look now. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Isn't it Frank? Yes, yep. it is. How good. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted me to put him in a good spot? I did. So I, did. I, uh, I put him in a good spot. For well, audio listeners, go listen and go watch Go watch the YouTube, YouTube show. You're dead to me if yep. you just listen to the audio. Yep. <laughs> Um, yep. And yeah, that's, it. that's we've, it. We've been moving this duck around a little bit, if you haven't noticed. Go, yeah. The last few weeks. Check out the last couple episodes. Last. It's been moving. 30. <laughs> Even disappeared for like five or six because we forgot about the duck. No, he was still there. He was still, <laughs> oh, he was still he's there. Still in, in if you look somewhere. really hard, mm-hmm. you might. <laughs> it might take you an hour. You might see him. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to go to another episode. Yeah. <laughs> But you might see You'll him. See him. <laughs> um, this is episode forty. Episode forty. Yeah, hey, you can't yawn yet. We're two Sorry. minutes in. I let me have more coffee. Two minutes in, and you're already. I yawning. don't know why I'm so tired. I slept for ages last night. Yeah, mm. me too. I don't know. Bedtime. Mm-hmm. Sleep again. This is a sleep episode. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. You guys can just talk for yourselves. Yeah. Just have your own little. You know, talk amongst yourselves. Mm-hmm. That's the worst thing that teachers used to do. Talk amongst yourselves. Yeah. Or you could talk to us and hit us up on social media. Yeah. At, oh, hey. At Fro Media. <laughs> no, go ahead. I'm in the, Fro I'm Media free. on Instagram and the Fro Media on Twitter. Hit us up on Twitter. Mm, it's going to mm, be sick. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Also, Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash the Fro Show. Uh, link is, is in the thingy. Go uh, go check that out. That's pretty sick. There's heaps of cool stuff over there, mm-hmm. and I would recommend that you go check it out. Oh, also I should, <laughs> should <laughs> yeah. probably acknowledge <laughs> my hair is gone. It is. <laughs> I cut my hair. Um, I feel like I should have mentioned that sooner. <laughs> oh, well. There's going to be like comments that are just like, what? What? Uh, what? Comments at two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah, I cut my hair. It's gone now. Look. Yeah, it's gone. I like it. I did snip snip. I like it as well. Mm. Um, is it? You feel like free now. I feel very light. Yeah, and airy, like I, I can jump six feet in the air. No, much is that's a lot. That is a lot. That's you can jump. Your feet nearly go past me when you jump. How tall are you? Six foot six two. Six like I think I'm nearly six two. I'm right. up, probably six two now. Right, I am. Five seven, <laughs> <laughs> oh. just <laughs> just five seven. I think I'm like five seven, one two or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So I'm like just barely scraping <laughs> Uh But yeah, my hair's gone. I uh, did the big snip, big <laughs> cut on Tuesday of last week. Um, there's also a video about it on my uh, on my YouTube channel if you want to mm. know the reason why I cut my hair. Um, mm-hmm. But this is what I look like now. Mm-hmm. It's cool. So that's fun. I like it. When are you going to cut yours? I'm thinking I'm going to revisit that in 2021. Mm-hmm. There might be a change. It might mm-hmm. not be. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Mm. We will see. Um, crazy that this is episode 40. I know. We are 12 episodes away from a year. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Which is just... <laughs> It's still crazy to me that when you asked me to do a podcast, I was like, "Oh, sure, you know, three weeks." Of time. Yeah, couple, couple episodes. Yeah. No, mm. you should know by now that <laughs> I, I don't do things that fast. Little, no. <laughs> I do it's things good. big, and I go, "Hey, let's no, just do, do this forever and never stop." That's mm-hmm. no, <laughs> good. It's great. Um, so Cyberpunk 2077 came out yesterday. Can you explain what that is? It's a game. Yes. Yeah. Oh, now I know exactly what. So you're it's about. the game. It's a new game by the people that made The Witcher Three, mm. and it was super hyped. Like the most one, one of the most hyped games I have seen in a very long time. Mm. Um, <clears throat> and it's just like I feel like it just hasn't met. Oh really? Demand. At all. Because, like, Uh, it's been in development for 10 years. Yeah. So people will obviously kind of come up with their own ideas of what it should be or what it it should be like. Mm. And then they play it and they're disappointed. Which is not really fair (laughs) 
I think, for the creators of it. No. But I do kind of understand where they're coming from. I haven't played it yet. Yeah. So I don't really have, uh, like, a a, a, a real opinion. Mm. <laughs> but it was just, like, I've been reading reviews all morning because I wanted to wait. I haven't bought it yet because mm. I wanted to wait till I saw what people said about it because I was, like... Don't want to buy it full price if it's bad. Yeah, exactly. I do, and I also, I don't really, like... I don't like to buy in on pre-orders and that sort of thing because mm. I feel like, why would I pre-order something that I don't know what it's going to be? Yeah. Because um, the last, the only game I've ever pre-ordered mm. was Assassin's Creed Unity. Right. And we all know how that went. Yep. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, haven't have, I haven't pre-ordered since then. But I think I'm still going to get it at some point, but it hasn't been, it hasn't been to an... Doing too too hot mm. in the reviews and can and you give us stuff. like a synopsis sub synopsis synopsis yeah. of the game of the game yeah uh, I can read one out for you that'd be great so um it is an open world action adventure game hang on I've clicked it and it is gone. Okay, <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077 is an open-world action-adventure story set in Night City, a megalopolis obsessed with power, glamour, and body modification. You play as V, a mercenary outlaw going after a one-of-a-kind implant that is the key to immortality. You can customize your character's cyberware, skill set, and playstyle, and explore a vast city where the choices you make shape the story and the world around you. So, right. it's set, obviously, quite far in the future. Mm. Um, but I don't... <laughs> I feel mm. like it just hasn't met yeah. demand, which is, like, to be expected, but I will Yeah, right. I'll still play it, I reckon, and I, I think I'll still really enjoy it, mm. but I'm interested to see what people have to say in, like, two or three weeks once, pe once people actually start finishing it and, like, yeah. going all the way through it. Yeah. I'll be interested to see how that turns out. What the out. reviews are like then. Yeah. Anyway, um, we watched... A movie last night. We did. I'm kind of bopping around. We're uh, smashing through this. <laughs> yeah. But the, the, we got heaps here, so it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Um, we watched a movie last night. Mm. Do you want to talk a little bit about what it was and what your experience was like? We did. I I think we mentioned this last week, but I hadn't seen this movie. It came out a while ago. It was one of those from the Spider-Man group. Them, sp them Spider-Mans. Them sp Speedy Boys. Yeah. Um, and I hadn't seen it, and I was kind of upset that I hadn't seen it yet. Um, and so, Frank finally showed it to me, and it was Spider... Wait, what's the... What's Spider-Man into, into the, the Spider-Verse. Spider yeah, I thought so. Um, yeah. It was awesome. It, was, it, it met and went past all my expectations. Mm -hmm. It's... Yeah. Would you like to give... Would you like to give your full comprehensive review? My full comprehensive review. Yes. Maybe we'll have to have the f the movie rolling in the background so I can so I can uh, review it as it goes. We could do a running commentary we'll on it. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, most of it will just be like, "Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> was <laughs> sick." Um, like I I didn't really know much about it either before I saw it. Well, I well I'd play the game with you. Yeah. The Miles Morales. Yeah. Um. And I knew it was animated and I knew it won a bunch of awards, but I didn't realize it was like comic book style. Yeah. Cell shaded. Yeah. But it wasn't like it, it wasn't like, you know, sort of Japanese movies, how they're super, I guess, comic book looking. Like stylized. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this one wasn't, in it, but it still had lots of those elements. Yeah. And it just like, it just sat like perfectly between everything. One thing I said to you also last night was it felt like I was, it was just like cutscene after cutscene in a game. Yeah. And, and I think that was awesome because like it felt like I was involved in it, but yeah. I don't know. It's so sick. It was so cool. I love it so much. It's genuinely one of my, one of my top movies of all time for sure. Yeah. With like no doubt. Yeah. About it. It was awesome. Did you, were you like surprised by anything in it? I was surprised by how much I enjoyed it. 
Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. I don't. Well, I didn't really know what I was what I was expecting, but like, yeah, I don't know. And the story, just the whole storyline, like I had no idea, and it was all like interdimensional stuff. It's very wibbly. What it's been two years since it came out, so we can't really talk, we can't talk about it. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to like <laughs> de spoiler it. It's yeah. it's been out for a while. Two years, really? Yeah, it came out. I haven't seen um, it. Yet. Oh, that's kind of sad. End of eighteen. Hang on, let me check. One thing I remember as well, <laughs> we were talking about the sound design for one of the fight scenes in the middle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then I think, what's the what's the bad guy's name? The the one in the purple, Prowler. Prowler came out December twenty eighteen. Wow, so there you go. Actually, almost two exactly years two years ago. Well, it is December twenty twenty. Well, it came out twenty sixth of December. It came out Boxing Day. Um, what was the thing? Oh yeah, the Prowler like drags miles across the roof. Yeah, and then he goes like, and you're like, what even was that sound? He's like, how do you even make that? How did they even come up with that? So, Joe, how did they make that? How did they make that? Well, this is exactly how they did it. <laughs> they got someone and they put them on a roof. Uh, oh, yeah. And they dragged them across. And the oh, okay. No. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> that that makes sense. Well, I wouldn't have expected anything less. <laughs> it's so cool with sound design because you got to like, you got to make it match the genre and then also like the audience that's yeah. aimed at. Because if that was, because it's sort of, uh, it'd be aimed at a younger audience, right? Yeah, but I forgot how intense that movie is. It is. It's kind of like Incredibles too. Yeah, yeah like it's like it can go both ways. Yeah. I think like it is. Very, it can very much be for children, but also mm. it's, it's still like very like they they literally say the word kill yeah. and like murder and yeah. dead, which a lot of kids movies Don't. steer away from. I suppose it is twenty twenty and you know twenty eighteen. But even Toy Story 4 was like, no K-words. True. True. So, mm. I, don't I don't know. know. Anyway, sorry, what was I your I guess point? the way I saw it was like, it, it's for a younger audience, like teens. Yeah. But it takes like an adult to really appreciate that film. Yes. Yeah. I would agree. It's de- It's definitely my favorite Spider-Man movie. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It'd probably be mine as well. Yeah, I think... Oh, this is going to get me flack. <laughs> oh. <laughs> say, it, say, it, say, it, say, say. So, this is my favorite Spider-Man movie. Mm. And then my second favorite Spider-Man movie is is The Amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want my do you want my comprehensive list? Yes, I do actually. Okay, ready? And I want reasons. Okay, I'll give you the list and then I'll give reasons, okay? Yep. Into the Spider-Verse. Mm-hmm. Amazing Spider-Man 1. Mhm. Spider-Man 1. The original. The original. Spider-Man Homecoming. Mm-hmm. Was that the latest one? No, that was the first one. Yeah. Spider-Man 2. Mm-hmm. Far From Home. Amazing Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 3. Okay. That's my list. Was like, well, Spider-Man 3, the one with Venom in it. Yeah, that was the one with and the Sandman and the mop. <laughs> I don't think it's been so long since I've seen those. That was the one where he gets the black suit and he goes all emo. Yeah, and he like goes down the street and like points at all the women on the street you and know, is like really creepy. Yeah, I don't. They really made fun of it at the start of Into the Spider Verse. It's the one where he's like oh. standing at the front. And he's like this. Right. Yeah. I didn't really. Right. I didn't get that. Okay. The first time I saw that movie, it was ripped onto a disc. <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh no, we're showing our age. <laughs> <laughs> it was ripped onto a disc by someone else and they gave it to me <laughs> on a disc. And I, I it on my DVD player. I think I saw it in theaters. Spider-Man 3. It's like one of those things where you... you oh, I totally saw this in theaters. Yeah, 100%. Oh, you did? Yeah. No, I didn't. I don't really remember it. Okay, so why... Well, I know why Spider Verse is your top one. Yeah, so why Amazing Spider Man number two. Okay, so this is my thing, right? Uh, not gonna lie, it would be up there for one of mine. Yeah, well. I did so really like that. Movie. So the the problem that a lot of people have with, um, with the Spider the Amazing Spider Man movies mm. is that the Peter Parker in it is bad. 
like, which I totally agree the with. The actor or just the character? The character of Peter Parker in them is not Peter Parker. Right. Which I totally get. And that's fine. Um, so this, okay, this is my thing, right? Mm. Tobey Maguire, mm-hmm. fantastic Peter Parker. Yeah. Okay, Spider-Man. Yeah. Andrew Garfield, fantastic Spider-Man. Okay. Eh, Peter Parker. Yeah. Uh, Tom Holland, good at both. Good at both, yeah. But not fantastic in either. No. I'd say he's better at Peter Parker than Spider-Man. I would agree. Mm. That's where, that's like where they kind of fall for me. Right. So like my ranking is less about the actual contents of the movie and more about the actual character. Yeah. Um, by content, I cannot tell you what the plot of Far From Home was, which is why it's so low for me. Um, I, rem- I know I liked it. Oh, that's, that's the one with, one with the- Mysterio. Where he goes to, where Spider-Man goes to Rome, no, it goes to general Europe yes. on a field yes. trip and Mysterio is, okay, no, that was a very good movie, but a bit forgettable. It felt like a filler movie. Yeah. Um, I think the next one is going to be great. The next Tom Holland Spider-Man movie. I hope so. Um, actually, we can talk about that in a second. But, okay. um, and then Amazing Spider-Man is just... So sick. Like, Amazing Spider-Man was... Um, you got, like, Green Goblin. You've got... That wasn't the lizard one, was it? That was two. No, the first one was a lizard one. Yeah, first one was lizard, got Green Goblin. Wait, then, the Amazing Spider-Man? Yeah. No, there's only two, isn't there? Yeah. The first one was... Oh, you're saying who's in the first one? Yeah, yeah, Was Green... Yes, Green Goblin. Yeah. Came towards the end of the and first one. No, the that one. was the second one. Was it? Was the first one where Gwen Stacy died? No. Second that was the second one. Yeah. First one was just the Which one the was... Lizard, okay, which one... was the rhino at the end. Yes. Second one had Electro Man, dude. Yes! Yeah. That's it. Which one is the one that has the knife scene? The knife scene. You okay. have to be a bit more specific. I'm, gonna, I'm going to play <laughs> the it. The knife scene. I'm going to play it because this is... Copyright. I don't Watch. care. <laughs> it's fine. It's it's two minutes, so it'll be right. Okay. This is, <laughs> this is my reason for why this is my top Spider-Man movie of all time. Hold on, let me make sure there's no this. ad. This is the there amazing. is an ad! <laughs> this is the basic Spider-Man one? Uh, yes. Yeah, cool. Yeah. This is my, this is the clip that I always show because this is my argument as to why, um, as to why, oh, oh I hate ads. Just like, ones where it's like, this is the clip! And then it's like a lady talking in front of a screen. And it's like, this uh, is a clip from this thing. Anyway, this is my argument that I always show as to why this is peak Spider-Man. I'm pressing play now for me and editing. Now. You know, in the future, if you're gonna steal cars, don't dress like a car thief, man. What are you? You a cop? Really? You seriously think I'm a cop? Cop in a skin tight red and blue suit. You know, you're you're you're. I've got a mind of a true scholar, sir. I, I was going more for one of the guys who do the luge. Good thinking. Good thinking. Get out the window. Get out the window. There you go. You got it. Whoa. Just let me go. Is that a knife? Is that a okay. real knife? Yes, it's a real knife. My weakness. It's small knives. Just let me go. Anything but knives! Oh, it's so simple. That was cool. Man. What the hell is this? Webbing that I developed myself. I don't think you really want to know Come right on, now. Come on, let me go! Ah! Take one, take one, take one. Stop, get off, man! No! Come on, let me go! Stop it! Dude, that isn't funny! It is Come kind on, of funny, help. man. Help! Mm-hmm. Oof. It's gonna go. Mm. So that's the <laughs> that's my argument. That is a good. Scene. It's so my weakness. <laughs> small <laughs> knives. <laughs> it's just it's so Spider Man, and it I is. love it so much. Yeah. Um. 
It definitely has its ups and downs, though. Mm. Um, I think it's really hard to get Spider-Man right. It is. It's, it's, mm. it's difficult for all those like comic characters because they're all portrayed really differently in different like comics. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and everyone kind of has their own idea of what what they should be like. Yeah. Yeah. And then you put it on screen and then one person is like, this is exactly what I had in my head. And another mm. person is like, this isn't Spider-Man. This yeah. is someone else, you know? Mm. So, yeah. I like almost, almost every piece of Spider-Man media that's out there. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, what do you not like then? Spider-Man 3. But <laughs> I will watch Spider-Man... Th- I. No, okay, I, I shouldn't lie. I do like Spider-Man 3. I just don't think it's a good movie. <laughs> right, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will actively watch Spider-Man 3, mm. to be honest. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> um, the, and a, a lot of the games are objectively terrible. <laughs> yeah. Um, one of my favorite... Actually, no. Web of Shadows mm. is dope. That's so good. <laughs> um, the... Oh, both of the amazing Spider-Man video games, horrific. Mm. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were pretty bad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I bought both of them as well. Oh, really? Because I was like, maybe the second <laughs> one will be better. And then it wasn't. No. Um, but I will forever and always consume every piece of Spider-Man media. Mm. Actually, hold on. F- uh, fill, fill time for me. How am I going to fill? What are you doing? What Spider-Man media have you bought? Just, just fill time. I'll be back in like fill time. Minutes. I don't know what to say. Just I don't know, talk to them about something. <laughs> about something. Um, I don't really have anything to talk about. Zelda's in here again. She's a studio puppy. She's been sitting at my feet this whole time. But yeah, I really enjoyed um, Spider-Verse. They're definitely my top um, definitely my top Spider-Man movie of all time. And yeah, not gonna lie, I like Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, good uh, as well. The first one. What did What have you got? Okay, I'm back. What, what do you not have, uh, Joe? I'm gonna need you to look away for a second. Oh, again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> oh, I cracked it. That's okay. Okay, hold on. I'll tell you when you can look. Not yet, though. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> okay, you can look. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that costume. <laughs> <laughs> It looks so good as well. Thank you. You should leave that on for the rest of the episode. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually just, every time I look over, it's like, oh, it's Spider Man. It's Spider Man. Hi. I can't see you smile. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Do you what? think this could pass as like a COVID safe mask? Surely. Hang on. <laughs> no air gets through it. No. <laughs> Surely you can put a mask on the outside somehow. <laughs> I am COVID safe Spider Man. <laughs> it's like pulling my chin up. <laughs> like, my my chin is like normally here, and it's like pulling it up here. <laughs> Hold up. Ah. Do the whole um, what is it? Oh, the like the the kissing scene thing. Does it go <laughs> over the nose? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it goes <laughs> over the nose. I think it does. I can't see now. Hold on. I think it does go over the nose. How do they make it look so good in the movie? (laughs) 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 My eyes are here. (laughs) I can't see how this looks. It looks so bad. (laughs) It's squishing your face. Hold on. See, it looks good when it's like that. Yeah. Now I'm like... Batman. <laughs> Where's the rest of the suit? I didn't grab it. You should have grabbed it. But then I'd have to put it on. So? 
I'd have to take everything off to put it on. <laughs> then is we'd have Spider-Man in the... Is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Surely the Patreon episode. I was about on. to say, Patreon episode is going to be Spider-Man. Sick. Should I get you a costume? <gasps> no. Yes, no, I have a costume for you. <laughs> Great. Okay. I think I know what it is as well. Do you? What is it? Sass of the tea. How do you know that? <laughs> because you bought one ages ago and it didn't fit. Yeah, true. Oh, no, it maybe did fit, but you just didn't wear it. It did fit. I didn't have the rest of the stuff for it. No. But Patreon episode is going to be the spi- the the superhero episode. Kind of want to keep this on. <laughs> Take it off. It's going to make me to get distracted. <laughs> no. <laughs> I kind of want to buy. You know what's bad what? is I kind of want to buy a better Spider-Man costume. Why? Especially now that I'm like working out and like. <laughs> Why do you? When are you going to wear another Spider-Man costume? Just <laughs> I'm currently wearing a Spider-Man costume, aren't I? That's because you have a Spider-Man costume. Yeah, but what would I do if I didn't have a Spider-Man costume? Exactly. No. <laughs> I don't know how Spider-Man isn't like constantly readjusting his mask. Probably because he's a movie character. Also... And he does readjust his mask. True. Between shots. I, wanna, I really want to get this like face thing to work it, it, it actually it looks so funny because your face is squished <laughs> so you're like <laughs> <laughs> you're like spider-man up here and then <laughs> it's just a mouth like <laughs> kiss me <laughs> <laughs> i wonder how many times i had to do that that scene <laughs> Am I sexy yet? <laughs> Is this the content you want? <laughs> no. See, the, I couldn't wear this mask with long hair. No. But now I can. Mm-hmm. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You look good. Your face was just in it. I'll just... <laughs> ring it out. I'll just <laughs> I'll ring out my face. I don't know how I cracked that. Do you think it was probably just heat, wasn't it, do you reckon? Possibly. I How hot does it get in here, though? Well, it was in my closet. How hot does your closet get? Do we live in northeast Queensland? <laughs> Southeast Queensland. <laughs> northeast Queensland. <laughs> <laughs> we live in the... Imagine if Cape that York. was like... <laughs> imagine if that was like an intricate lie that we've been telling. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, we live in Brisbane. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm just like... We travel at 10 hours to do anything in Brisbane. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe, do you know what a continuity error is? No, I don't actually. What are they? <laughs> <laughs> you know what my favourite part about this is? What? Is that this is an entirely <laughs> visual joke. And it doesn't make sense at all to the audio listeners. <laughs> <laughs> See how off-putting it is, though, to have someone (laughs) in a Spider-Man mask next to you? It just means that I have to get a mask as well. (laughs) Oh, I can see myself in the camera now. (laughs) This is sick. (laughs) (laughs) For uh, should should I tell them? No, I'm not going to. No, just direct them to the audio listeners. Go to the uh, YouTube channel and. Fast forward to 30 minutes. I'm going to show you what you look like. You will see the joke. Okay, I'm ready. (laughs) It's really hard. (laughs) (laughs) Can you roll it at all? (laughs) Did it go in your mouth? Yep. Maybe that's the trick, is you got to roll it. But see how it like squishes you and you're like, hey. (laughs) It just makes it look like, it makes it look like your nose is your chin. Yeah. It's really because your eyes go up here. (laughs) Okay, I'm taking this off now. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. I want to see if I can get like, how much is a really good... (laughs) Spider-Man costume. How much do you think is a really good one? Like, probably like 300 bucks. Um, pro. I'm stupid. Let me look at professional Spider-Man costume. Replica props! What's his... I wonder what his, um... 
what the costume's actually made out of, like the one on they use on set. I think it's a mixture of latex and vinyl. Because yeah. particularly, particularly the Amazing Spider-Man suit was very shiny. Yeah. Yeah, true. Um. <coughs> what? <laughs> hmm. Would you like to take a guess? It's probably like twelve hundred dollars or something. No, it's not that inta- insane. Okay. Also, these are not very good costumes. Yeah. They were six hundred and fifty dollars, and they were like, eh. Authentic Spider-Man material. <laughs> it's made from real Spider-Man. <laughs> 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 it's made from spiders. It's made from real spiders and real spider silk. Um, classic Raimi suit. Oh, kids. I'm mm. I'm not kids. You're not I could kids. probably fit in a kid's costume, to be fair. Maybe. I'm just looking at Spider-Man costumes now. <laughs> They're any good ones. You have to buy one, surely. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to. Like, I kind of really want to. Which one do I go for? Is the question. I don't want the Tom Holland one. Miles Morales. I feel like that's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just some part of me is like feels like I shouldn't <laughs> dress as a <laughs> biracial <laughs> character. <laughs> not sure why. Uh, <laughs> maybe because you're not. Maybe because I'm about as white European as it gets. Yeah, probably that. Hey. <laughs> yep. Fair enough. <laughs> Except you're not born in England, but yeah. I said European. Yeah, England's in Europe. Yeah, but at, at no point in that did I say it was England, did I? No, but you'd be more more white if you were born in England, wouldn't you? No, it's all the same white, I think. Oh. I don't know. I think my grandpa would disagree with me, but... <laughs> uh. I found a... Uh, Racing stuff. Oh, this one has shoes. Ooh. And it's the one from the game. It's the, sp- it's the Spider-Man PS4. <laughs> That's the... The mask. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> look, are they look at those eyes. They're like, what are they called? Plastic. No, the things that like, like eyeliner, eyeliner winged eyeliner. It, yeah, wings. That's what it looks like. It totally does. Um, this is surprisingly difficult. Oh, I can get a. Sp- I can get the Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, like the, the homemade suit. Mm. This is hard. This was way easier when I bought that one. Probably because I didn't care as much. Probably. <laughs> it's probably just like Spider-Man costume. And I went, <laughs> oh, cool. That one looks cool. That one looks sick. This one has web shooters. Ooh. That's what I didn't have for that one. Was I didn't web have web shooters. shooters. You gotta have web shooters. I gotta have web shooters. These suck. Maybe I should make my own. I also wonder how thick that his actual costume would be. That's actually a very good question. I love the ones that have muscles in them. <laughs> <laughs> like Spider Man is supposed to not be muscular. Yeah. <laughs> this is surprisingly difficult. I th- genuinely thought that this would be kind of easy to just like to find an actual costume. Yeah. But it's very difficult. <sighs> Anyway, enough about Spider Man. <laughs> I mean, he's pretty great, though. I know. I do love Spider Man. Into Spider-Man. the Spider Verse was great. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's how we got to this stuff. Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> it was a very, it is a very good film. What's your rating? Whoa. It'd be like a 9.5. A 9.5? Why? How much would Whoa. you give? That's a good rating. Yeah, it was a great movie. I didn't know you enjoyed it that much. Actually, maybe not. Maybe not. Because the... I don't know how I feel about, like, interdimensions and time travel in, in like, animated movies. Well, no, not animated movies, but movies that are aimed at a younger audience. Well, well okay. I just don't know. It's just kind of like, it feels out of place to me. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, what if I told you that it's been confirmed that Spider-Man 3 with Tom Holland is going to be interdimensional, multidimensional? Very similar to this. Well, you'll have to wait and see oh, what my review for that <laughs> one is. Uh, what if I told you that Toby Maguire was spotted yesterday going in for a costume fitting? Well, I knew that was 
Oh, so it's going to be very similar. Yeah. Mm. What if I told you that Andrew Garfield is also... Yeah, I knew he was. And I think that Emma Stone is coming back as Gwen Stacy. Or a Spider-Woman. And then... So they're just remaking... Oh no, I've forgotten her name. We're just remaking oh no. Spider-Verse. Kirsten Dunst. Oh my goodness, that was <laughs> scary for a second. <laughs> yeah. She'll be coming back as MJ. I hope that's Kirsten Dunst. Is it? I don't think it's Kirsten Dunst. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> uh, please be Kirsten Dunst. It is Cousin Dunst! Nice. <laughs> yes. I'm allowed to keep my job. <laughs> um, I'm keen for that, though. It's supposed to start shooting next year somewhere. Okay. So, hopefully next year somewhere we'll get a trailer. Yes, that'll be exciting. That'll be sick. I'm keen. Um, You can choose what we talk about next, I think. Because we've got two left. Oh, we do. Um, We talked about Spider-Man for like a solid 30 minutes. <laughs> What an episode! I love it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna steal this one. I yesterday, yesterday morning, I had an experience um, on set again. For this was a uh, what was it? It was an assessment for a master's degree. So essentially, what they were doing, those two people, it was like a directing assessment. Mm-hmm. So there was a. Um, a film crew and I was on part of that film crew that came in and sort of filmed it and then the directors did their thing. Yeah. And what, in your opinion, what is the role of the director? To direct and tell the actors and all the casting crew what to do when. Yeah. Okay. And like call action and cut and yep. actually explain what's happening. Yeah. Okay. I just had a very interesting... Because there was two of them. And the first one sort of did everything I would have expected. And the second yeah. one didn't do anything <laughs> that I would have expected. I thought you were just going to say, I didn't do didn't anything. Do anything. <laughs> no, he did a lot, but just like not what I was expecting. What? So the first guy Can you talk in. about this? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm going to talk about the first guy. Okay. And then the second one. So the first guy came in and he had his actors. Was this, did they come in separately? Yeah. So okay, so they weren't working together? No. Right. Okay, so that's important. They were both, they were both like arrived at the same time, but they, first one didn't watch, sorry, the second guy, I'm going to call them by names. Uh, I don't remember the name of the first two. Just call them A and B. Let's, okay. So like A and B arrived at the same time, um, but A didn't, B didn't watch A and then yeah. A left once he was done. Yeah. So. So um, it was like separate for their masters. Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, and there's only the two of them. So we came in and then I also got to learn all the, a bunch of different roles in like the film crew. So there's a DOP, which is Director yep. of Photography. Yep, also known as a cinematographer. Yes. And he he's like, I didn't realize how much creative input that guy has. Yeah. The like DOPs on set are usually some of the most influential in a film. Yeah. Because the director will have an, a vision, but it's the cinematographer's job to influence and make that what it should actually be yeah and a lot of sorry to no, hijack no, you, but a right. lot of directors will do their own cinematography but a lot right. of them won't so a lot of them will just say this is the feeling that i want from this scene and then give mm. the cinematographer the yeah the wish to do so yeah well like it was only you know five minute scene each um and it was just in the on the one set sort of thing um but it was so cool watching the watching A and the DOP work together. It was the same crew for both directors. Because, yeah. um, you know, he came in, he sort of gave him the script. While well, he had read the script, they talked about it a little bit. He said, okay, I want a wide shot. We'll do a few of them. Close up of each. We'll punch in and slightly closer for each guy. And he was like, that's sort of what I'm thinking about. And then, you know, the, the director sort of left that, went over to the actors <coughs> and just, like, spoke to them for half an hour. And it wasn't just, it wasn't just like, so this is how it's going to happen. It was like, what do you think? Hey, or how are you going? And, you know, the first 20 minutes was just getting them comfortable. And then, then was talking about, you know, the character and not like, and it, it was completely separating the actor from the character. Yeah. And I thought that was awesome. Like, you know, they were talking about it like this character should do this. And then the actor would be like, yeah, I think, you know, this character's intentions are this. And, and it was yeah. like, whoa, man. 
That's, so that's cool. really interesting because <coughs> the way that I, that's the that is the exact opposite of how I was taught to direct. Yeah. Because when I was in uni, I did a d- directing class. Mm. And they, the way that I was taught to direct was to not separate them. Oh, really? Um, and to, with with the actor's permission, obviously, yeah, to address them as the actor. As the character. As the character, sorry. Yeah, right. <laughs> sorry, studio <laughs> dog's making noises. Hey. Yeah. Just having a bad dream. Zelda. 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 <laughs> oh, she's having a bad dream. Hey. Damn, it takes a lot to wake up that dog. Okay, she's good now. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're good. Um, yeah, so he, yeah, he kind of separated the act. Because I think what he, what he was trying to do is he was, you know, developing this character with the actor. And then it was sort of then he kind of gave the character to them and was like, now take it on. Yeah. Now, now take, take on me. Now be this person that we've created. Yeah. Sort of um, and that was really cool. And it went so well. Um, you know, he came back. He honestly didn't really talk to the DOP. Like they yeah. didn't ha- they didn't talk a whole lot together. The DOP sort of set up. He had a lighting guy and he had, um, I think someone else who was sort of just running around for him. A gaffer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Were they like doing flags and that sort of thing? No. No? It was only very small. Oh, okay. Um, Maybe the gaffer was the lighting guy. Is that what a gaffer does? Kind of depends. It depends uh, on the shoot. Some of the, Sometimes they're the same person. Sometimes they're not. What's the difference? Um, gaffer just sort of li- does So a lighting guy will basically just do... The gaffer is like the assistant to the lighting guy, yeah, kind okay. of. So they'll set up flags and like... Block screen, like blocking screens and that sort of thing. Right, um, pretty. They were pretty much the same dude. Okay. Um, this guy who was doing the lighting had has had like ten years industry experience. And right, it was insane to watch him work. Yeah, because you know he the way that people like that can carve light, insane. <gasps> yeah, like there was things I'd never ever seen done before. Stuff that you mental noted. Yes, Good. like he had he'd set up. You know, at the front you kind of like you want to put lights on them like this, but he was like. This one's facing backwards with a whiteboard. Yeah. And like, that's a fill light. And I was like, <laughs> and he had like three of them like that. And then he had a cutting light. So he had a little one with the barn doors on it. And he didn't point that into the shoot. He pointed it backwards at a board. And it just, it just very subtle things that he did. Yeah. Um, and he even put, he shone a light onto a wall with a diffuser and then put a plant in front of it. And it just made a really cool effect on the wall. Mm. And it just, like, pfft, where'd you come up with that? <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, director. Uh, he, yeah, he pretty much did that, walked back to the monitor and hung out for, like, a minute and then sort of was like, get ready, let's do it. And and as pretty much as soon as the DOP was like, all right, director, we're ready. You know, the director went, spoke to the actors for 30 seconds, came back and was like, let's go. And, yeah, action all that cut and he left he left um some time at the end before he cut it so he let the actors react to the last line and then left another 10 seconds and then cut it that's cool yeah um so that was awesome that was really cool to see uh-huh. and then the second guy came in um b b came in <laughs> mm-hmm. and he was very did they reset everything so we it was like the same set it was different well I mean, like, did they reset lighting and all that stuff? Or did he just leave it how it was? No, a different scene. It was oh, a different scene. Okay. So he came in and sort of told us what we needed. Yep. And right, we, right, like, right, reset the set. So it was, first one was in an office. Second one was at a cafe. Yeah. So it put table and chairs and whatever. Yeah. Um, and then, so that, yeah, that happened. Um, but, and he was, like, very flustered and trying to get the lighting right. And right. like, barely spoke to the actors during the setup time. He was really just trying to get the set done, sort of thing. And I was kind of like, isn't that like the gaffer's job? Yeah. To fix the set, and then the lighting guy's job to fix the lights. Yeah. But yeah, he spent a lot of time fixing lights, finagling. Yes. Um. 
<laughs> and then a few, I don't know, a few other things happened. He didn't, he spoke to the actors for about a minute, went back behind the monitor, sort of sat there, um, looking around like, are we ready? So, you know, he kept telling us that we were running out of time. <laughs> um, and we we're like, yeah, we're ready. Um, and then he's he, like, yeah, man, we're waiting for you. <laughs> yeah. And he was just like, sort of sent around again more. Didn't, wasn't, he wasn't like driving it like a director should. Yeah. Um, and then eventually he just went, well, we're ready again. You know, and then we said, yeah, yeah. He's like, okay, cool. Uh, quiet on set, whatever. And then he said, when you're ready. <laughs> and the actors are just like, what? <laughs> like they just sat there for a minute and like, do we go? <laughs> and then he looked up again. He's like, oh yeah, when you're ready. What are you doing, mate? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did when I was directing children. Yeah. I go, okay, whenever you're ready. Cause like kids will need a second to be like, oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah no and and then eventually he got into the action and cut he was sort of like oh would you prefer if i did if we did a hard start and stop <laughs> yes yeah that's, that's sort of why what you're you do. here <laughs> <laughs> yeah interesting. interesting and then similar between shots yeah hmm there's a bit bit of faffing what do you want hmm. from the dop and then he was like i don't know i don't really know man I'm open so to ideas. <laughs> it was very... And <laughs> even just watching him try and... Cause, so there was a male actor and a female actor. And the the female actor... No, sorry. The female character was sort of... She'd kind of just been through a rough time and she'd like slept around. Um, yeah. And then he's trying to to talk... <laughs> Have you ever been a hoe? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, but it was like... There was a, we did a close up shot of her and he was trying to ask if it was okay that her chest was in shot, pretty much. Right. Was in frame. Was he really awkward about it? Because uh, he was, and it's a room full of dudes because the whole crew was guys. Men, yeah. And so she's the only girl in the room. Um, and so it just made it more weird the way he was trying to explain it, but. Yeah, he was like, are you okay if we do like a slutty sort of shot? And oh, she's just no. Like, What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> um, We're going to shoot from below, just like <laughs> right up. No, it, it was, it wanted to be slightly up. So it was a, a slightly just, up. Uh, just uh, down ask like a shot. normal person. And, and eventually she just got to like, she was really good about it. Um, she'd done a few things like that before. Um, and she's just like, just, you can just say, do you, is it okay if my breasts are in shot? Yeah. And yeah. Anyway. <laughs> but poor guy. Was he like pretty young or? No, but he like, you could tell that he has issues with communicating. And right. Yeah. Interesting. Issues, difficulties with communicating. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Definitely interesting. Interesting to watch different directors work. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I still, I'm, I'm very keen to direct film because mm -hmm. i've directed a lot of theater yeah true like a, like way more than i ever intended yeah <laughs> um but i've never direct oh i've directed film once but that doesn't really count because i was really right. like and not really counting what we did the other time like the last time i was directing because that was kind of just like <laughs> play piano <Yeah>. okay. <laughs> okay that's great <laughs> i reckon with with the short film you want to shoot yeah we should try and get a DOP and like, yeah, we'll like let, properly let fund you it? to direct it. Yeah. Leave you to direct it. Yeah. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> Even if we just did the three of us. Yeah. Ow. My hand cramped. <laughs> or maybe uh, four. DOP can bring a lighting guy or something. Yeah. I would go lighting over DOP because I think I can do cinematography. Yeah. Well, because a lot of it's framing and I've done like six true. years of photography. Like that's how Kubrick started as that's well. That's true. Kubrick was a photographer first ah, as well. There you go. This is I a would, new Kubrick I'm sitting next to. You. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'd be more worried about lighting. <laughs> yeah. Because okay. lighting is where I really struggle. Because mm. I just, I can't, I don't, I can't visualize stuff. Yeah. So I can't like see how light's going to look until I put it there. And that makes my, that makes it take like twice as long. So I have to be like, oh, give me a second. I'm going to move the light. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But anyway. anyway. Um. Okay, last thing mm -hmm. before we wrap up, because yeah. we blasted through that. We talked we about so much Spider Man. So much Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Spider Man, our new Star Wars. Yes. Actually, honestly, we should probably do another Star Wars episode. We should. Because 
that was very early on in the show. Uh, and I don't think it counts anymore. <laughs> okay, well, what are we going to do for that? Do we just need to watch one of them and then speak about it? I don't know. What do we... Help? Maybe we should go back and see that. Star yeah, Wars episode. we should go watch... We we'll watch that after this. Yeah, sweet. Um, anyway, last week, we set up a bunch of new stuff for Fromedia. We did. So, we officially have Fromedia email addresses. Woo! We now own Fromedia.com, mm-hmm. and we are in the process of creating a website. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, um, and we've set up like a task management software and everything yeah which is all very cool so it's like very cool it's like a thing now it's like happening it's like a, it's like it's like real stuff <laughs> like actual things and stuff yeah which is super cool um we're using notion for all our task management mm. and that sort of thing and it's been working really well. It has. Do you have you? You've been enjoying Notion so far. I have. We haven't had a whole lot of reason to use it yet. No, because it's not. We don't have a, like a bunch of jobs on the go at the moment. Yeah, but I think it's one of those things that the sooner you set it up, the better it'll be in the long run. Oh yeah. Because having a database of like everything, everything you mm-hmm. could possibly need ever. Yeah. Will never not be handy. Yeah, exactly. And we've got all of our, well, all of our like brand assets on there yeah all of our financing yeah jobs past clients past clients to-do lists everything to-do is on list. there. yeah notes for the show yeah that we haven't you, used no. <laughs> <laughs> was, like have you used them <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> um yeah. yeah super cool so heaps of progress is happening mm. uh next year hard launch 100 percent gonna mm-hmm. happen um, i can February, March. February, March, yeah. I reckon, like, in January, I'll start com- campaigning for jobs and stuff. Yeah. And then we'll get a bunch of gigs, because I'll have heaps of time. And then, boom. And then, boom. From b- media. Build a studio, boom. Get yes. a sign, boom. We also, when's that other job we were talking about? So when's that next job? The the headshots? Oh, after Christmas. I have to, I'll have to call them after Christmas. Oh, so they don't know. We don't have that security. It's not. For sure, yeah. Damn. Yeah. I was going to say, as soon as that happens, then we should... Or maybe now, we could, should get the carpenter in for a quote. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. The chippy. Chippy. Yeah, no, that's... um Because he was remodeling the uh, the offices. And he said that it should be done after... No, no, the, the guy oh. that wants the photos. Yeah. Should be... He's remodeling the offices, so... Ah. After Christmas. So, January. Yes. Probably February when everyone's back. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh let's finish up there. Yeah, that's all. Um how good. Cool. All right. Uh, uh check us out on social media. Joe, what are our thingies? Uh f- at Fro Media on Insta uh-huh. and at the Fro Media on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. And where should they go if they want more of this content? To patreon.com slash the Fro Show. And what do we offer over there? Lots of cool things. Like? An after Fro Show. Uh-huh. Uh, sound check shenanigans. Uh huh. Uh, cool stuff that you put up there. Uh huh. Templates. Uh huh. Sick. And more to come. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Cool. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Bye. 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 <laughs>